If you would like to win a Force FX lightsaber of your choosing, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and tell me in the comments below what your all-time favorite lightsaber is. In the novelization for Star Wars The Last Jedi, we receive more information on the moment as Kylo Ren enters the throne room of his master, Supreme Leader Snoke. Since the novel is from a first-person point of view in this section, we learn far more about Kylo's thoughts as he approaches his master following his failure. What is most interesting is Kylo explicitly states and admits in this moment that he believes that the Praetorian guards assigned to protect Snoke would be able to defeat him and overwhelm him in a fight, despite his immense power in the dark side of the Force and gifted bloodline. Although the line and mention is very brief, it is still very important and speaks to the raw power of the Praetorians. As Kylo Ren enters the throne room, he is intimidated, as he knows that not only is his master Snoke the superior force wielder and holds far more knowledge and understanding of the dark side than Kylo, but he is also aware that the most gifted fighters in the entirety of the First Order stand in wait for any threat that comes against the Supreme Leader. From some past experience, Kylo Ren knows that the Praetorian Guards are to be feared and respected. Kylo goes on to elaborate that not only are the Praetorians trained in ancient combat techniques meant to counteract force wielders, but also that their armor and weaponry has been developed to do so as well. In the visual guide for The Last Jedi, it is elaborated on that the guard's armor is made with a special energy field that activates around them whenever they enter combat. It states that the shield is powerful enough to repel blows from a lightsaber, but not more direct thrusts. There are not many beings in the galaxy that Kylo Ren fears, and even less so that he respects, but the Praetorians are one of them. Here, Snoke feels completely comfortable, as the Supreme Leader is aware that his guards are more than a match for his apprentice, and it is only after Rey arrives and Snoke is killed that Kylo stands any chance against the Praetorian Guards. Even with two exceptionally powerful force wielders, they were still almost defeated by the power and skill of the Praetorians. Although not world breaking, I wanted to make this quick video that details a small but important moment where the mighty Kylo Ren admits that the Guards are more powerful as a unit, and a moment of humility for Kylo that might not have happened if he had not been defeated by Rey on Starkiller Base. I also wanted to make this video to highlight a bit more of the Praetorian Guards and show just how powerful and skilled they really were, despite to our knowledge them not even being force sensitive. Hands down, the Praetorian Guards are some of the best fighters we have ever seen in the Star Wars mythos. But leave your thoughts on the Praetorians and this comment made by Kylo Ren in the comment section down below. As a big question for the video, how do you think the guards would stack up against compared to another force wielder such as Mace Windu or Yoda? Do you think that Windu alone could defeat all of the Praetorians? Again, the lightsaber giveaway still continues so don't forget to enter that. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell me in the comments what your all time favorite lightsaber is. If you would like to interact with me directly and ask questions, the best place to do so is on my Twitter page page at stupendous wave link will be in the description below thank you guys as always so much for watching your support means the world may the force be with you and have a great day